probably more important elements of our pieces are the good sound and effects of graphicness. So, Josh and Mitch, how did you achieve this awesome goodness? Awesome goodness! Thanks, Chris. Joe. Bob. Joe. Becky. His name is Joe. So, talk about audio levels. You don't want to have it overmodulated. Like this. This is overmodulated. That could be a cool dubstep song. <laughs> this is overmodulated. Anyway, um, but you also don't want it to be undermodulated. Like this, where you can't hear what's happening. And you're just confused because you're like, am I deaf or not? I can't hear anything you're saying. That's the point, dude. Oh my god. Another big thing you want to take into consideration with your final product is the music selection you choose. Music can affect... Wait, where did the other guy go? He uh, wasn't working out. So yeah, I'm going to talk about music and uh, how it affects your shots, your video. Um, you want to pick music that is appropriate to what your video is about. You don't want something like this. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Now at the same time, music can change the feel of your video. You can have the same shots, but with different songs, it'll totally make it feel different. Like this. And of course, if all else fails, just use sail. It's overplayed. But it's good. Okay. Sail! Alright, so that's all we have for you today. I hope you learned something. If not, there are plenty of other videos on the interwebs that you can watch, different tutorials. And uh, back to Steve in the studio. For the last time, it's Joe. Who's Joe? Ah, uh, never mind.